Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we've got comicbook.com saying things that YouTubers have been saying for years. Shocking. Shocking news, everybody. Shockingnews.com. That's what they should call it. it. Says manga and webtoon publishers are dominating the comic book industry. No shit. What? Are That's you... crazy talk. It's almost like you heard it on YouTube. What? So after four or five years of denying, denying that this was the case, that manga and webtoons and other media were eating Marvel and DC's lunch, now comicbook.com has to admit it. And uh, they're using a tweet by somebody that uh, used to, I don't know if she still does, but used to write for Heidi McDonald at The Beat. Ooh. Uh, Deb uh, Aoki, I think her name is. Uh, she covered manga, I believe, on Comics Beat. Yeah, I've seen her. I've seen her before, yeah. Yeah, and she's flat out saying that, yeah, you know what? Manga and Webtoon are completely destroying Marvel and DC. Shocker, you know what? what? No one could have seen this coming except for a lot of people on YouTube except for everybody else, everybody that's gone to a comic shop lately, everybody that's been following any of this shit. And we know these comic book journals, like I wasn't gonna do a whole video on it, but I guess we could talk about it in, in this. They're out there now, uh, the one guy that used to run Newsarama, Chris Aron, he's out there like, please, uh, give to your your starving comic book journalism instead of buying comic books. Oh yeah, you told me keep that. Keep these websites running, guys, because they really need your help. Yeah, so don't buy comics for independent creators. Give it to us, the journos. Give it to the journos who really care about the health of the comic book the industry. The journos who refuse to acknowledge issues when there were issues, basically shat on all the people who would acknowledge it. You know, help a starving journo today. Help a starving journo. You can adopt one today. For the price of a cup of coffee a day, Pretty much, that's more than they're making now. You could pay for their mortgage. Mortgage? Go to their GoFundMe. A mortgage? No, you can help pay towards it. You can help pay the rent on the flat they're sharing with like 15 other people. That's right. All right, comicbook.com. We're going to talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over, uh, what, 292, almost 293,000 subs. Yay! Thank you so much for the support. We have been talking about the comic book industry, not as much as we used to because it's dead on the vine at this point. Um, but there's a lot of drama surrounding the cause of death and uh, basically people picking at the carcass. And we have a lot of these comics journalists trying to say that the comic book industry is fine. Marvel and DC are fine, even though creators aren't getting paid, even though publishers are going bankrupt, even though comic shops are shutting down at a shocking rate. Everything is good. And manga's not... Manga's not eating into Marvel and DC at all, guys. No. Things have never been better. You're just imagining it. So coming from comicbook.com, these days manga is giving comics a run for it. The medium it's has been. It's been. It's been for years. The medium has been popular for decades, but its recent push outside of Japan. Recent? It's been years. Remember the 2000s? Yeah, manga was huge back then anyway. Anyway, the past few years, manga publishers have been outselling Western comic prints with ease, and a stunning graph shows just how well manga is doing. As you can see below, the team at Europe Comics, so apparently she moved over there because Heidi couldn't pay her anymore, uh, posted a graph denoting the approximate revenue of the top 10 graphic novel publishers between 2020 and 2021. It was there fans got a good look at how big publishers of manga and South Korean webtoons have become. Wow, look at this. Heck, even Naver's only part way down, though. Yeah, Naver is uh, the, you know, the publisher of, of Webtoon, but we have uh, Shueisha, Kodansha, Katakawa, uh, Shoga Kukan, I think it is, I don't know. But basically every wow. major every major manga publisher, and then Webtoons, and then Marvel and DC, and then European comics, which makes sense because there's not as many people, you know, over there. That That's kind of funny. I'm surprised Neighbor isn't doing better than that, though, honestly. I am, too. Unless that's what, you know, um, book sales, maybe? Is mm. it in revenue? I don't know. Because Webtoon is just absolutely killing it. So, yeah, they're talking about how Marvel and DC came in seventh and eighth place uh, before media participations in Panini Comics. Of course, there are some Western-centric publishers missing from the list, but that's thanks to this data's global reach. The info was sourced by uh, Fumeta Logica, in Italy. In Italy. So relevant publishers in Europe were considered with global brands. We know Viz Media is absolutely crushing it in sales these days. Uh, for one, the publisher saw many of its current backlog titles go out of stock. Um, that is actually true. We have friends working for manga publishers, and uh, they're saying that they can't keep up with the demand. 
it's just like it's ridiculous that the printers cannot keep up with the demand. So, yeah, um, I think the comic book reading audience has moved on, obviously. Well, if you go into <laughs> manga, you get really good stories. They, they are diverse, but they're organically diverse. And it's not like just full of agenda for agenda's sake. And they're they're just very well done stories and they're exciting and they're fun and you know you really engage they're more engaging than a lot of these you know other characters that have been changed they've been changed the audience has been chased away they've tried to bring in you know younger readers now it's interesting uh she does an article on korean webtoons being the next big thing it's been in that it's been where's the wall i want to smack my head off of it it's been once. I mean, look, oh I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking her specifically, but once again, the comic book media is oh. about ten years too late to the party. Webtoons have been here for years. They've been eating your lunch for years. Uh, some of the highest selling print graphic novels now are, you know, Lore Olympus. Uh, I know. Webtoons. I'm just like, I'm just like, want to go to a wall and just like, bam, bam, because I'm just, I can't believe they're just like, guess what? Uh, oh my head! I need so, Tylenol. It's hard to say this guy here, uh, Ike, Ike. It's hard to say how representative this ranking is, though, given that based on the article, it uses overall revenue rather than comic specific revenue. It's definitely frustrating that reliable, consistent, and comparable sales revenue data for global comics publishing is hard to find. Yes, by design. By the way, there used to be very reliable comics sales numbers, and during the pandemic, there was an opportunity to hide those numbers. And uh, now nobody's even talking about numbers, like actual numbers in comics. I've long suspected that DC and Marvel worldwide sales aren't as big as people assume it is. What? <laughs> what? What? If that's true, this guy's trying to argue. Because everybody, they, they can't. Oh, we don't want to hear it. We want to hear the word number one. Yeah. But number one is the middle finger. If that's true, it's important to keep in mind that Marvel and DC only sell comics, whereas the Japanese companies are huge publishing houses, publishing mostly comics. Uh, the logic could also include other big publishers that publish some comics. The Korean webtoon success is fascinating. It's been! It's been there! Oh my God! Just, Just wait for it. Um, they're going to call you dead. They're going to call you Comicsgate here pretty soon and an alt-right Nazi. They already um, do! <laughs> This is just, this is hilarious. Oh, that person? I thought you meant me. That person, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. you've been you, for you, years. You're going to be calling, the, yes. And everybody's acting now all of a sudden. Everybody's acting like this is new news. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I got tagged in. Here's data that shows manga dominates the world. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it again. We, we do a video talking about manga sales. We always get these turds that come into the comments. They're like, that's not true. Marvel and DC are way bigger than. What, what pisses me off is. People like us have been saying it for years and gotten shit. This person is like, oh my God, the emperor's not wearing clothes. And they're all falling. Well, you're just a genius. You know, oh yes, you're so right. I, I, I don't know why I never noticed it before. Uh, because this person was part of the trusted comic book journalist cabal, right? I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're one of the in crowd, you can say this stuff. I remember not too long ago, one of the writers for Bleeding Cool was actually uh, dunking on the direct market and saying that the direct market was going to fail. Uh, I think it was Jude Terror. And everybody dogpiled Jude Terror. And then Jude Terror turned around and started dogpiling YouTubers for saying the same thing he was saying. I just, I, I can't. Apologies will be accepted at the following email address. Because one person said it, it matters. Yes. And I'm now, just, that, I'm like, now that comicbook.com Fake news.com is more like it, right? It's almost Fox News. I just, I can't. Oh, look, BookScan says the list is compiled compi comprised entirely of manga. Yeah. I just. In January 20. Anyway. You okay? I'm just so sick of it. Do you need a moment? I need a moment. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, I can't even anymore. That was Geeky leaving the building in, in spectacular fashion. She's rage quitting this video. Yes, in January of 2023, the book scan list was comprised entirely of manga, including Chainsaw Man and Spy Family. Again, there were no Western comics to be found. But comics are doing better than ever. Better than ever, everybody. And oh, no, they changed it now. Comics in general, as a, as, a, as a medium. Before it was 
uh, comic books in America were doing better than ever. Now it's just comics as a medium. Look, Geeky's back. I didn't leave the room, I just threw my chair. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? I, I would, again, um, you can send apologies to shout out at clownfishtv.com. There's a whole list of YouTubers that will gladly apologies accept. Apologies to Geeky says, kiss my ass dot com. at clownfishtv.com. <laughs> that's, that's how we make extra money on the side. The ad rates aren't too good, so Geeky wants you to kiss her ass for five bucks. I no. just, I can't. Still makes more money than comics. We're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> it probably does. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up. Please subscribe. Right? Yep. You're done? You're yep. done? Yep, I'm You're done. done. My head's gonna explode. All right, please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye.